I think it's only fitting I do a Joker video. A few people have asked about it, so here it is. We're going to dive into the character from the beginning all the way to the present day. One of my favorite villains of all time. Um, the character is just amazing. There's so many layers to the character you can explore. But let's start off from the beginning, April 25th, 1940. Joker was created by Bob Kane, Jerry Robinson, and Bill Finger. An incredible comic book character. Different. Nobody seen anything like that back in those days. Cesar Romero took over the role in 1966 during the TV series Batman. His laugh was incredible. He was very campy, but very good at his role. And laid forth the format of how you want to tackle portraying the Joker live action going forward. Now, Jack Nicholson took it over uh, and what was that? 1989, I believe. And he did a phenomenal job. He showed us how dark you could take the character to a certain extent. And he also laid down a little bit more of a format going forward also. Now, Mark Hamill is one of my favorite Jokers of all time. I mean, he started with Batman the Animated Series in 92. He voiced over so many, so many animated series and he went all the way into Arkham Asylum and video games. His laugh, his Joker laugh in particular is just crazy, psychotic, perfection pretty much. One of the best voiceover actors, character actors that there is, hands down period. Um, going forward though, Heath Ledger took it over and showed us you can make it dark, you can make the Joker mysterious. You know, with his background that we didn't know about, he kept giving different stories during the film. Now, critics trashed his performance initially when they first screened it. It obviously ended up being one of the best portrayals of the Joker. Different, something we've never seen before. And uh, we love him for that, and it's sad that he passed away, you know, due to a multitude of things, method acting, drugs, whatever. Um, but going forward, 2016, Jared Leto took on the role in Suicide Squad. Unfair to him. He didn't really have a chance to really flesh his character out. I thought he looked cool on screen. He couldn't do but so much because he only had but so much uh, airtime, you know, in the film. And I don't know what's going to happen with him going forward. I don't know what his contract is. Now we come current day with Joaquin Phoenix as the Joker. This is going to be, in my opinion, it could end up being a masterpiece. And I say that because this is one of the greatest characters to ever be invented and to have a solo film dedicated to this character with a great actor as Joaquin Phoenix it only makes sense that this film will be really bad or really incredible and all time great and I'm leaning towards the latter um, Joaquin Phoenix has a, an incredible resume and I love the fact that he admitted he's not a method actor he just goes he does a character and that's what he does but listen let's, let's bring out the receipts August 2018 I said I believe this is going to be a great film, and I believe that he's going to possibly get an Oscar nod. And now that the film is here, I definitely believe that now. But let me know what you think. I appreciate your support as always. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and shoot them out. And uh, thank you again.